Roberto Duran. Fierce, ferocious, vicious, ruthless. All traits that expound a fine description of the Panamanian pugilist. However, the man with the hands of stone was not the face-first slugger he is sometimes remembered for being. With the correct blend of attack and defense, boxing and brawling, Manos de Piedra left behind a legacy that sees him ranked as one of the all-time greats of the sport. After turning pro on February 23, 1968, Duran racked up 28 straight wins on his way to a world title shot. In June 1972, he fought Ken Buchanan of Scotland for his WBA lightweight title. With Duran scoring a knockdown in the opening round and leading by a large margin, the fight ended controversially in the 13th round. Buchanan was dropped after the bell, crumbled in pain from a punch that was seemingly low. Referee Johnny Lobianco ruled the punch legal, and Buchanan was unable to answer the bell for the 14th round. Roberto Duran was champion of the world. This victory opened the gate for Duran to build arguably one of the greatest lightweight resumes of all time. Twelve title defenses followed, eleven by knockout, defeating fighters such as Hector Thompson, Guts Ichimatsu, Ray Lampkin, Lou Bizarro, Edwin Virouette, and his one-time conqueror, Esteban De Jesus twice in retaining the WBA crown. By defeating De Jesus a second time, Duran claimed the WBC lightweight championship and in turn became the undisputed lightweight champion of the world. After cleaning up the lightweight division, Duran felt it was time for a new challenge. With wins over Saul Mambi, Monroe Brooks, Carlos Palomino in non-title bouts, the stage was perfectly set for the brawl in Montreal, a super fight against undefeated WBC welterweight champion Sugar Ray Leonard. After 15 rounds of exhaustively intense fighting, Roberto Duran snatched the title from Leonard's grasp via a unanimous decision win. A win that some call one of the greatest single victories in the history of the sport due to the greatness of both fighters and the magnitude of the bout. But his reign over the welterweight division proved to be short-lived. After shamefully uttering the words no mas, meaning no more, in a rematch with Sugar Ray Leonard just five months after beating him over 15 rounds to win the title, his WBC belt and status as a national hero were snatched away from him in the blink of an eye. After failing to become a three-weight world champion by losing to Wilfred Benitez by unanimous decision in January of 1982, Roberto Duran defeated Pipino Cuevas in four rounds to set himself up for another world title shot. This time he would face off against undefeated WBA titleist Davey Moore. After dominating the young champion for seven rounds, Duran knocked Moore out in the eighth to become the light middleweight champion of the world, restoring his countrywide pride in the process. Although it may have looked as though Duran had had his last moment on top of the world, as he suffered two defeats in quick succession, one to Marvin Hagler for the undisputed middleweight championship of the world, and the other a devastating knockout loss against Thomas Hearns, Manos de Piedra yet again fought his way back into contention for a shot at a world title belt. 17 years after winning his first world title, Roberto Duran fought and beat Duran Barclay via a split decision for the WBC middleweight title. Duran's knockdown of the blade in the penultimate round proved to be the deciding factor in the split decision win. Roberto Duran fought on for 12 more years, never to regain the status of world champion, despite challenging for major titles twice more, before retiring with a very impressive record of 103 victories and only 16 defeats. 
70 of those wins coming by way of knockout. While stories told of his life outside the ring may remain a myth, stories such as knocking out a horse in his native Panama's fresh-faced 14-year-old, or swimming two miles to shore after a plane he was piloting plummeted into the Caribbean Sea in order to ensure he was able to tell the tale, one thing that cannot be debated is the fact that Roberto Duran, Manos de Piedra, is one of the greatest fighters to ever step inside the squared circle. In a brutal world, Roberto Duran was the most vicious. They called him Manos de Piedra. He was a born fighter. A warrior. Panama's international sports star, Duran ran his record to an astonishing 82-1 propelled by a fury few ever possess. From Los Santos, Panama, Roberto out of Latin America who embodies these. You know how big a hero he is going to be. Which one we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Off a 
Davey Moore. And down he goes! 